Airbrushes have come a long way in recent years. They used to be rather expensive, but I mean, now you can get something online for, like this one with $11 on eBay. For whatever reason though, everybody seems to be terrified of airbrushes. They think that they're like these unfixable things that just clog and become absolute nightmares. And I mean, that is a possibility, but let me show you how to clean this bad boy. We're going to try to do this in under five minutes. You don't even have to disconnect the air source. We're going to do a full clean. Uh, let's talk about some supplies to have on your desk while you're doing this. You're just going to want your old friend paper towel. A cheap, dirty brush that you don't care about. Well, not dirty, just old. Nozzle wrench. A bottle cap that you can fill with isopropyl alcohol. You don't really need one of these, but these make it a lot easier. This is just a scraper tool that's the same taper as your airbrush nozzle. So when you stick that in, you can clean out the needle, or you can clean out the nozzle a lot easier than if you don't have it. And then just some isopropyl alcohol. Go ahead and fill that up. Alright, starting on the airbrush. We'll start with some paper towel. You don't need a lot. Dip it in isopropyl. Just start cleaning the outside. Also not a necessity, it's just for aesthetics. Loosen the nut, pull your needle out, set it off to the side. Tighten your nut so you don't lose it. Now at this point the trigger can fall out so just be careful. Pull your nozzle cap off, put it in the alcohol. Pull your whatever this piece is called off and put it in the alcohol. Using your nozzle wrench, pull the nozzle out. Stick it in the alcohol. Now at this point, just use your brush with your isopropyl. Brush it out real good. Give it a spray. If you have one like this, you can actually wedge this bad boy in here and just kind of give it a power spritz. But you're going to want to hold the trigger down, spray air, and spray it wherever you spray your paint. Pump a little alcohol through. You can also come in from the back side here and spray a little right down the needle, the needle hole. It'll run right out the front. Completely fine. That'll flush any hard to get debris out. Stick your brush up a little bit, give it a clean. Stick it down this way, give it a clean. Blow it out, put it to the side, let that dry. I think this is some kind of an air duct. I should probably know the names of things before I'm like telling you how to clean it. And the big thing here is you just don't want cake. Or you, the big thing here is that you don't want paint caked around that hole because that's going to impede airflow. Same thing on the inside. So just make sure that's nice and clean. Do it to all your parts. I think this is the nozzle cap and this is the needle cap. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Or right. I might be right. Parts are all clean and onto the nozzle. Now if you have one of these fancy tools, you just go ahead and stick this in and scrape it around, applying some pressure to one side of the nozzle. And if there's any chunks or debris in there, you'll feel them and you'll kind of push them out and they'll come out the tip. The cheater way to do this is just to use your needle and be very careful. Kind of scrape the inside of your nozzle. And if you feel any chunks, push them out. And that feels nice and smooth and clean. Give it one final rinse and set it to the side. You're ready to move on. Grab your needle and your same piece of paper towel and just make sure that there is no paint stuck to it. So you see how there's a little bit right here? That's going to cause seal problems and cause a little bit of sticking later on. Scrub it all off best you can. A word of caution, this is sharp. You want to try to stay away from that edge. And if you do find yourself up here, keep going straight. Don't, don't put a needle through your finger. That's bad.
And there you go. We can start reassembly. Pull this back temporarily, pull this out, and if you're in need of lubrication, a drop of vegetable glycerin. Just one drop down there. Put your trigger back in. If it's dirty, like clean it, but you're usually fine. If you have a crunchy trigger, you know it. That's why you're taking it apart. Make sure the orientation of the little grip things is correct. Sometimes the triggers are shaped differently. Loosen the nut. Very carefully guide this in. You don't want to bend that tip. Don't put it all the way in yet. You don't want it sticking out the front yet because you don't have your nozzle in. Come in with your loop. Now it's going to feel buttery smooth. Nozzle, now it's really important, don't over tighten that. Let's see if I can re illustrate that. So, you want to go till it touches, that's where it touches. You want to tighten it to there. You want to go maybe a sixteenth of a turn. You do not want to strip this, or your airbrush is going to be trash. Put the nozzle cap back on. Put your needle cap back on. Slide your needle all the way forward. Double check for function. We have paint flow. Now that was level one. Let's say level two, you want to polish that needle a little bit and you want to make sure that this is just absolutely 